Business Station. My name is Victoria Ewan. I am a digital marketing specialist and brought to you by, like I said, Business Station and Digital Solutions. And today we're talking about how to make it really easy for you to create your social media. And we're going to be using Canva. So we're, we're going to be spending a lot of time in Canva and hopefully I'll be able to show you as much as possible. There is so much in there. Um, I have tried to make it a little bit more streamlined just to make it easy for you to learn, but um, we could spend hours and hours and hours in here. So hopefully I'm going to give you a lot of information. I probably will be speaking quite quickly because I want to give you as much information as I can. So I apologize for that. Please put in the chat if I am talking too fast. Now my camera is up here so I can look at you. My screen's down here so I can see what I'm doing. But I've also got my notes down here as well. So if you see me looking all over the place and bobbing my head, my apologies. I am just trying to um, put together as much information and, and make it you know, really, really useful and really good for you. So I'm going to share my screen and we have come straight into Canva. This is where we want to be. Beautiful. So how to easily create your social media images using Canva. So just keep it simple. I'm, if you haven't been on one of my webinars before, if you haven't had experience with me, I'm all about trying to keep your business life as simple as possible. I run my own businesses as well as doing this job and I understand how many hats you have to wear. I really do. I've been doing this for a long time and um, and, and have failed in many things and, and have, have um, done, done quite well in, in quite a few other things as well. So I really understand what you're going through and I'm try, I try to make everything as easy and simple as possible for you. So don't get overwhelmed. If you don't know me already, just to let you know, you know who I am. So you know that you hopefully are in good hands. I have been teaching small business owners how to use the power of social media for quite some time now. I've owned and taught in my own yoga studio. I've written three books on stress management. Um, I've had a fair trade shop and, and gift shop and clothing store. And I've owned and managed a wellness center with staff. I have, I teach in my spare time, I teach a um, free post-surgery breast cancer program called Encore. So if you know if anybody that um, needs that program, it's free for them. Just jump into Encore and, and have a look in there. That's Australia wide. I'm also a certified um, Shopify and Facebook partner. I've got my Bachelor of Teaching, Certificate for a Small Business, and I'm a Certified E-Commerce Specialist. But most of all, I am a mum to two teenagers. Best job, hardest job. <laughs> Okie dokes. So what I'm going to do now is actually jump straight into Canva itself. Let's open that up so we can see. Okay, so yours will look a little bit different from mine as um, as you go along and create different different parts in Canva, it stays in your designs. So yours will just look a little bit different from mine. And Canva also recognizes the things that you create most. You can see the first thing on mine is presentations. So that's what I've been creating most recently and always Instagram posts. That's what I create all the time. So yours will look just a little bit different from mine, but let's have a look and let's go through. Even if you're very au fait with Canva, hopefully I'll be able to teach you a few bits and pieces that you may um, have forgotten to use, or you may have not even known that Canva has. Canva updates themselves quite regularly and has been giving us lots of more um, little functions that we can use. So it's been very cool. Okay, so first up, I just want to go across to the, to the top of the home bar. So let's jump into templates. Now you'll see here, you can get your social media templates, personal business, marketing, education, and trending templates. So that trending templates is something quite good to look at. 
it's something that um, other people are using all the time and you don't need to copy exactly what you're doing but you know that they are interesting for other people to see so you might like to just get some inspiration from them you've got your features so there's lots of different things that we can do in here I will take you through a few of these features but not all of them like I said we don't want to do I don't want to overwhelm you too much I really want to keep it as simple as possible and in saying that during this presentation please understand that you don't need to use all of these features it's only what is going to be useful for you and your clients and to make your business better. Across the top, we also have learn. So everything that you will ever need to know, you can actually learn in Canva. And a little trick that I do, um, and it might not, might not work for you, but it works for me, is whenever I'm watching any of these things, I speed it up to 1.75 and I quickly go through all of these different learnings and I see what I can gather from them quickly. So doing my training myself, I do lots of training myself uh, to keep up with everything that's going on and I always do it at a, um, at a higher speed unless it's someone that talks quickly like I do. <laughs> okay, now the other thing that I wanted to do is jump down the side. So we've got recommended for you. We've got your designs shared with you and brand kit. And I really just want to jump into this brand kit. If you haven't already, this is where I want you to start. And if you haven't got it, this is where I want you to go next. Setting up your brand kit, it just makes everything so much easier down the track. So you can set up and you can put in your logos. You can put in your uh, brand colors. So it, like I said, it just makes everything a lot easier. You can also put in your brand fonts. Now Canvas fonts are a little bit different from others, but you can also upload your own fonts. So if you have a specific font that your business has asked you to use, you can upload that. You can see I've had to upload quite a few because different businesses have asked me to do that when I was doing their social media. I should just get rid of those now that I'm not doing those people's social media. And that's the other thing, trying to um, clean it up every now and when you can. It's like cleaning up your emails. Okay, so let's go back to home. I'm going to keep looking down so I make sure I don't remember, don't forget anything. <laughs> okay, let's go back to home. So all I'm going to do is start with an Instagram post because it's square and it can get used across most platforms. You can use this in, um, in Facebook and in Instagram. So this is probably the one that you're going to be using the most. So I want to go down the side and have a look. We've got templates on the side. Now, just to let you know, I am using Canva Pro. Now, Canva Pro is $17.99 per month, and you can currently get five users on the same Canva Pro. So you can split that cost between five people. You'll see here, there's a little free symbol. That is um, the Canva that is unpaid. So you can absolutely, absolutely, and I did for many years before I started paying, you can use this for free version for as long as you want. There's no three monthly trial period or anything like that. But if you do want to upgrade, you'll find that there's a little, um, there's a little crown and that means the paid one. So you can use all of these ones for free and the other ones are paid ones. Do you see here there's a little um, symbol, uh, a crown that says pro. So that's just your, pro, your paid version. Another little tip that you could possibly do with this if you're on the free version is just have a look at the, at the paid uh, templates and get inspiration from them and then make them yourself. So that's what the paid version really does. It gives you um, it gives you time because you're not you're not spending that time to create it. So it depends on how much your time is worth at the moment for you. 
So let's have a look at templates. Now it gives you recently used, which is great because then you can go back and see everything that you've done before. It also is quite intuitive. So it will give you ideas on things that you have already created and it will update it. Now my for you gets very, very confused because I do social media um, not so much anymore, but I was doing it for quite a few different companies. And so it was getting very confused. Do you, do you want a real estate one? Do you want a, a sporting one? Do you want a boho one? It was getting really confused. So if you're only running your one business, this for you will probably be quite intuitive and quite good for you. We can go down and we can have a look at that sporting ones, coronavirus Instagram posts, newsroom Instagram posts, animated Instagram posts, love Instagram posts. And I encourage you just to jump into these and see all. Even if you think, oh, that doesn't really resonate with me, something in there probably will. Okay, so there's lots of those that you can go through. I encourage you just to have a play in Canva and, and just get very comfortable in here and, and see what is going to work for you. Another way that you can search for your templates is just go up to the search bar and um, search something like Boho. If that resonates with your brand. So you're thinking about um, you're, th you're thinking about your niche and you're thinking about what sort of represents your niche. So that's one way of searching in here. Another way of searching in here is just by color perhaps. Perhaps you have a very specific color in your, um, in your branding. And then you can just get lots and lots of amazing ideas in that color. Okay, perhaps you are in real estate. That's really badly spelt. What's going on? <laughs> Again, perhaps you're in real estate and you can have a look. Perhaps you're just in homes. Perhaps you're in gardens. So there's so many different options of how to search. Um, perhaps you are with a sea theme or the water theme or the ocean theme, something like that. So just making it easy. These little shortcuts will help streamline the thousands and thousands and thousands of templates that Canva has. So trying not to overwhelm yourself with all of the different templates, just try to niche it down to what you have. Another way of niching it down is the type of post that you might like to do. So if you're creating a inspirational post, you might type in something like motivation. And then you've, again, got thousands, <laughs> hundreds to choose from. And you would say to yourself, okay, I like, the, um, I like the layout of that. And then you would choose it and you would change the brand, the branding on it, your colors, your fonts, and pop your logo on there as well. As you know, well, as you probably know, Facebook and Instagram don't really like you putting an outbound link, which is you putting your website in the content. So putting your website name on the actual uh, graphic is a great way for you to be able to get your website out there or an outbound link. So if you're trying to send people to your business or you're trying to send people to a website or you're trying to send people to an Amazon store, it's a good idea to actually put it in the graphic instead of putting it in the content into your social media. I can explain that a little bit more if you need me to. Okay, so that's going, having a look at templates on the site. Let's have a look at elements. I might just, yep, let's have a look at elements. Now, this again can get a little bit overwhelming. So just trying to really think about your branding. Is it minimalistic? Is it bright? Is it lots of information? So keeping that in the back of your mind before you're coming into here and, and, and trying to keep it as simple as possible. So you can see again, we've got a recently used. Then, then we've got our lines and our, um, lines and our shapes. 
I like using the lines and shapes for um, background of things. So I'm usually using the square. So I'll just pop a square there. Now what we would do, we would look at the square and we would change the color. So we've got the color um, square up here. And this is where your branding comes into play. So if I was doing a um, if I was doing a post for my skincare company, I would change it to that color because then I know that that's going to be the same branding across everything. And then if I have something behind it, perhaps I'll put a photo behind it. And because it's skincare, maybe I'll put her. And have a look and see how it's over the top. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to delete that. So this is actually quite easy. So you just delete it. Now I clicked her in. If I drag her across, she comes um, into the whole picture. Then if I have the picture over the top of it, and I just want to make her a little bit less uh, bright, I go up to this transparency button. And then I can change the transparency. Do you see how I can do that? And then perhaps move that down here and I'd do some writing over the top of that. Okay, so that's one little way that we can use the lines and the elements. Now, this little undo button is probably going to be your best friend. All we do is undo it and it's gone. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to jump out of lines and shapes. There's a graphics that you can jump into here. And do you see how now already, this is so intuitive, already it's given me skincare in these graphics. Whereas I actually don't know whether that was there before, just before I wrote that. It could have been, but I'm not sure if it did. And again, in the photos, it's already given me um, skincare. Videos, audio. I was at a function last night and somebody asked me how to put audio, how to put songs on their graphics. So let's actually go through that now. I'm just going to put her into there, beautiful lady. And all we need to do is see all in the audio. Have a little play with them. Do we like the sound? Oh, that might not match her. Don't know if that matches her either. I'm not going to go through too many. Okay, so let's pretend that that matches her. This is why you need to spend a little bit of time playing. And all you do is just drag that over. So now in your graphic, in your social media, you now have audio over the top of it. I hope that makes sense. So let's just stop that and get rid of all of that okay so that's your audio let us go back to elements so we're just going down having a look at all the different things you've got your audio you've got your charts frames are fantastic so i'm just going to open up frames now you've got lots of different frames that you can use now my one of my favorites is using the phone frame. Let's open that up a little bit. Okay, so the phone frame, um, it, it, works, it works really well because it, you can put lots of interesting things in there. So if you wanted to show your website, what it looks like on a mobile and you wanted to advertise your website, I encourage you to actually take a screenshot of it on your phone and then upload that screenshot into here and then use that in your graphic. The other thing that you can do is um, record on your phone as, as you go through, you can record um, a video on your phone as you go through your website or, or whatever you're offering, your, your downloads, your PDFs, um, or a video of you walking through the um, bricks and mortar stop, shop that you've got. And you can upload that into Canva and then put it into here. So it looks like somebody is actually looking on, 
on their phone when you are here. If you don't have any uh, content from yourself, it's a really easy way is to jump into videos. And then having a look at all the different videos that you've got in here. So if you don't have a video of you walking through a beautiful forest, you can pop it in. And it's there already. And then you would pop in the, your branding, your colour, background, and you would put in um, your website and you'd put in a call to action perhaps, um, or you would just say, you know, how beautiful is this? So it just, it makes everything a lot more interesting to look at. So that can be put into quite a few different frames. Let's have a play with that. Go back to frames, so elements, go back to frames. So perhaps if you had a book, I'm just going to open that up. Do you see how I just pull it out to open it up? So this is the front cover of a book. Wouldn't it be interesting to put a video in there instead of the front cover of your book? Or wouldn't it be interesting just to put the front cover of your book in there so that you can show people? So there's, yeah, lots and lots of different ways that we can use these frames. It's quite fun. Get rid of that. Start again. Okay, into elements. I'm just scrolling down. I'll open up the charts. It's not something that I use a lot, but you may have, um, you may have a business that will that you will use charts a lot. I find them a little bit challenging to work with, but um, maybe I need to do some training on that. <laughs> Going back into elements and scrolling down. The next one I want to show you is grids. This is just a really easy way of separating your different photos. So obviously you've got the large grid, and then you've got the side-by-side -side grid, and then these grids go up to about 16. I think you can put 16 different photos on there. I don't actually recommend putting tiny, tiny photos on your social media because most people look at their social media on a phone and tiny pictures can be really, really challenging. One way that I would consider doing something like this is if I was putting tiny pictures, and I'll show you there, if I was putting lots and lots of tiny pictures behind something just as a um, to make it quite interesting and then putting a wording or a graphic over the top of it. So something like that you might screenshot lots of your testimonials or reviews or you might even just think about putting um, you know a similar color in lots of those different things you can you can also change the background of the um, of the grid so that the pictures actually really stand out okay so we have gone through, let me just check all of the different elements. Excellent. Okay. Now the next thing that we wanted to jump into is uploads. This is where you upload from your phone um, into Canva or you upload from other places as well. You can, anything that you have downloaded onto your PC or laptop, um, or camera you can upload into here so this is where you would actually get all of your um, your own images here and audio and video and you can record yourself in here as well photos thousands and thousands and thousands probably millions of photos I really encourage you to try to niche down with these photos they you could spend hours going through and trying to find what you want if you aren't searching in that search bar properly. Okay, text. You've got your headings, your subheadings, and a little bit of body. So if you pop something in here, add it over there, type in. So I've just clicked into here. I'm just going to type. Oh my goodness, my spelling today. We can make it bigger by increasing the font size here, just by tapping. We can also make it bigger by opening it up 
we can move it around. And you can see that I've set up the, um, the pink lines so that I know that I'm going in that smack bang in the middle. Over to the side. Okay, up here we would change our font. So you see this is the font part here. We would click in here. And this is where your uploaded fonts are going to be as well. So you know that you go directly to there all the time and they're the only fonts that you're going to be using if your company says that's what you need to use. Otherwise, I encourage you to have a look at a few of the different fonts and see what is going to be easily read by your customers. And remembering they're on a small mobile phone a lot of the time and see what um, resonates with your branding. So if you're very, you know, if you've, if you've got a beautiful different colored, different type of branding, that would be great, but you might need a bold branding for something different. Okay, so just having a look through, and I encourage you to use very, very similar branding uh, fonts and all of the time so that every time your customers see your post, it's quite similar it, and, and, and that, um, that instant recognition happens in their brain and that instant recognition brings on a lot of trust in your posts. So having a look through these fonts and having a look and see what is going to resonate with your customers and something that you can use all the time. And then with the, um, with the fonts, you can change the color. And again, this is why it's so easy to have already have set up your colors. You can also move the font around. You can have different effects. Now, one thing that I really encourage people to do these days is have some form of animation on their posts and having it um, moving, having the actual words moving is a really easy way of having some animation on the post. So if we click in here, I just clicked on animate on the top. We click on animate. At the moment, we have none. We can have a look at the different ways that we can animate the post. Some of these, I think, could cause an epileptic fit in some people, um, and we really don't want to be doing that. So have a think about how your customers read your information. The main thing that I'm doing in social media at the moment is the type one. It just, it's easy, it's, it follows the line of the eye, and it's easy for people to read. It gives a little bit of animation within the post, and, um, and, it, and it looks very effective. Okay, now let's jump out of animation. The other thing that we can do, okay, I'm just going to get rid of that. The other thing that we can do is just choose a font combination. So at the top here, we're just putting in the fonts, we're just putting in the text. But here we can choose a font combination. So if you, again, are going to create posts with a very similar look, you might just want to come in here and find some great font combinations that work well for you. So if we've got a sale post, we can change the color. Beautiful. And we might actually want to animate that so it really looks quite interesting as it comes in. Okay. Let's get rid of our sale. Alrighty, so the next thing along is the audio. So we've been through the audio a little bit. You can go through, you've got your different types of audio, pop, epic, piano, instrumental, and then have a play, see what it sounds like. And then click on it, drag it across and then it will be attached to your video or your graphic. 
The next one down is videos. And again, thousands and thousands of them. So try to make it very specific up the top for your niche. So we've got C there. Isn't this cute? I love turtles. <laughs> so really it gives you so many different options to create very engaging posts. Your Instagram posts, your Facebook posts do not need to be boring. If you're bored with them, your customers are going to be bored with them. Now let me have a little think about, um, I've just been told my Mac is going to stop. So let me plug it in. My apologies. Excellent. Cool. We're going to be stuck together for a while longer. Yay. <laughs> okay. So um, with the, well, oh, that's what I was going to say. With the videos, do you see that's quite long? So up here it says it's 15 seconds long. I really don't suggest making people watch this beautiful turtle for 15 seconds. So our attention span these days, especially on social media, is very, very small. So an easy way of doing that is to just take that down to one, two, maybe three seconds at the absolute most. Okay, so that's a really easy way. I'll show you how, you how I did that again. Let's click done. Okay, so I moved, actually, no, let's start again. I moved a, um, a video into there. That one's 45 seconds long. I clicked on it. It's got the scissors up here. It's got the timing. And change to whichever part that you want to about three seconds maximum. And then once you have downloaded that, you've put that into a beautiful post. Sorry, once you've put that into a beautiful post, you download that and you make sure you download that as an MP4. So it's just the same as downloading a graphic, just download that as an MP4 and put, put that up. So a little tiny video. Okay. Let's go back to our blank canvas. Excellent. Okay. Now the other thing I'm scrolling down on the left-hand side again, then we've got your folders and you can start putting in different folders for your different businesses. So it's very, very easy for you to get to when you are coming to your own business and you can upload and keep your files in there for easy access. There's also this little more button and it does give you a lot of other things that you can try but please don't get too lost in here I want you to get on with your business and get on with making money for your business unless you're a social media manager and then I do encourage you to have a play in here and see everything else that you can get but I just want you to start creating those posts start getting in customers and and start getting some um getting some cash flow into into your business so you can create a beautiful amazing life for yourself okay dogs we're actually going to create some things now so we've gone through all of the different things on the side one of the first things that i encourage you to do is tell everybody who you are even if you've been around for quite some time an introductory post to your new new followers is a really great thing to do. So if you are coming into creating just a normal post, we could come in and we could give you a photo frame. Okay, so just typing in photo frame, you can see that there's lots and lots and lots of places you can start putting in your information in here. So let's have a look at this one. I'm just going to click on that, drag it across. Alrighty, so if we if we wanted to come in here, I'm going to change the um, I'm going to change the words introduction easy. Now I actually think that that font is quite difficult to read, so I'm going to go up to the fonts, maybe change it to something like that. Then I'm going to change it to the colors. 
Mm. Will orange be okay? Maybe we'll need a little bit darker. Okay. And then we can change the background. We can change the picture. So I encourage you to put your picture in here. The way that you would do that is to take a picture of yourself, get a, get a selfie, um, get some professional photos done, um, you know, wherever you are. And if you don't want yourself, perhaps taking a photo of the outside of your business, of a, um, a logo or a um, your shop front, perhaps taking a photo of the new offering that you have. But this is really just yeah, in introducing yourself and then going and finding a picture of yourself in your uploads. Uh, I won't put selfie in, I was going to, I won't put selfie in, I'll just put face. Finding a picture of yourself, dragging it across and putting in there. Okay, and this could also be an introduction to your team. So Facebook loves uh, photos with eyes and smiles. So if you can put in a, an introductory photo of you smiling into the camera, that would be a really, really great, easy way of doing that. You can change the background color. You can change the pictures, all sorts of things. So that's just how easy it is to do an introductory post. Now, one thing that I wanted to show you in here that I've got written. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. All right, so if you have a picture of yourself, and now I'm going to embarrass myself because I do have a pictures of myself. And, and this is another thing just completely offhand that you might like to try. I needed a lot of uh, professional photos of myself in, in different places. So quite a few years now, it's probably about three or four years, I hired an Airbnb a photographer and I brought a ridiculous amount of clothing um, from my house to the Airbnb. So I had a lot of changing of clothing, changing of clothing. And then I took a lot of photos and now I've been using them all, all the time again and again, because um, you know, my hair doesn't change that much, thank goodness. Um, but it's it's just, it's a whole bunch of photos that I can use over and over. And it really was just a day and a half at an Airbnb. And I've been using those photos for three to four years now. So when we're thinking about, when we're thinking about putting in a, um, a photo of yourself, let's embarrass me and put a photo there. Now this gray background looks terrible. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on this edit image and click on background remover. Let it do its magic. So if you've taken a selfie and you don't like the background, this is such a good tool for you that Canva offers you to do. Does it want to remove the background? There it is. So now you have a nice clear background behind you. This is fantastic to use for products as well. So if you have a product and you don't want the background in it, let me show you how to do that. I just noticed there's a chat. That is gold. I know, how good is that? <laughs> Thank you for giving me some feedback. Now, so if you've got a product, this is a product that a client came to me the other day and it's, it's quite confusing, this little product. Nobody really knows what it is, but it's a little bit, I'll put it here. Actually, no, I'll put a dodgy one behind it. It's a little bit that goes into a Leatherman. Okay, so I needed to take out this background to make it clear. And we're just going to take out the background. Oh, I had another picture behind it. 
together. Okay, so we've got, we can take out the background with this as well. But the other thing that happens is that you still have a white picture around it. So when you download it, I encourage you to download it with a transparent background. Okay, so I'll show you why. Let's download this. Now I'm downloading it without the transparent background. Now I'm going to download it with the transparent background. I'll show you what happens. Let's put something behind here. Let's just put a color. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is go into my uploads. Oops, sorry. Yeah. And I need to upload that into here. So, and I'm just dragging those in. Now, do you see here, this is the one without the transparent background. And this is the one with the transparent background. So if I wanted to put that into a post, it would still have the white background behind it. If I wanted to put this into a post, it doesn't have the background behind it. I can move it around. I can open it up. Now, because it does have the line along there, I would probably align that with the wall. So it doesn't look so strange. Okay, and so you don't have the background behind it. So that's just the difference between having, you know, removing the background. Yes, great, fantastic, that's awesome. But also then downloading it with the transparent background behind it so that you can put that into posts and you can put it. It, it makes everything look very neat, very clean, very easy. Okay, quotes. Let's get rid of all of that. Okay, quotes. So if we go back into templates, we've looked at photo frames. So this is introducing yourself. Another thing that I really love and encourage people to do is motivate and inspire people. Now, it depends on whether your customers are um, serious or funny. You can, you can change the quotes for them. They might like to hear motivational quotes every Monday, hashtag motivational Monday. They might like to hear a funny Friday. They might like to hear a hump day Wednesday. Um, if you, sorry, I'm just reading out a comment. If you don't have Canva Pro and can't access this feature, try www.remove.bg. It does a great job as well and allows you to repair and remove additional areas. Fantastic. Thank you very much, David. Very, very useful. Okay. So let's jump into here. Um, we were doing quotes. That's right. Now you can find quotes elsewhere and you can bring them over here and copy and paste, but you've got hundreds to choose from. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds to choose from. So, you know, have a look, see which ones resonate with you, change the colors, change the fonts, pop your logo on them and easy. You've got your post straight away, done. <laughs> okay. Another post that works very, very well on Facebook is a carousel post. So a carousel post allows people to stay on your page for a little bit longer than a normal post because they have to flick over and see a few different posts as they go along. I encourage you to do a carousel post instead of putting you know, five pictures in the one post, I encourage you to do a carousel post. The way the algorithm works is that Facebook um, looks at your posts and they say, are people staying on here? Are they saving it? Are they looking at it? Is it interesting? Um, and so, um, and, and so we're going to show that to more people. So if we jump into templates and we look at carousel. You'll see here that down the bottom, it says two of 10, one of 10, one of seven, one of seven. And so they've already put 
posts together for you that um, encourage people to swipe and to keep going. And so we don't need to use the, these exact same posts, but we can get inspiration from them. And so it's put it all together for you already. So if we do want all of those posts, we just apply all seven pages. And you see that they come up down the bottom. And then we would go into it. It says really great site. You would give your handle in here, your Instagram handle, and then you would put your website in there. You would change your fonts. You would change your colors. You'd possibly change the graphic as well. And click over to the next one and do the same thing. One thing that makes it really easy is if you are trying to change a color, it's going to let me do it. And you're looking at changing this color. See how down the bottom it says change all? So you would change them all. And then that didn't work, of course, because I'm on a live thing. <laughs> so you change, and often it changes all of them across the top. That didn't work because it's a particular graphic up the top. If you stuff up, remember this undo button is always there for you. Okay, so you can um, go through and you can just change all of those and then you would download them and you can either download them as an MP4, as a video that goes through, or you can download them individually as a, um, as a graphic and then put set them up in your carousel in, in uh, Facebook. Okay, next one, moving along. Just checking on the time. Oh my goodness, we don't have much time left. I've got so much to show you. Okay. I'm going to speak faster than I even normally do. Infographic. People love seeing graphics. Go through, have a look, see what's great. A little tip. If you like a graphic and you think, yeah, that's really, really nice. I really like the way that that's working. You can click on these three little um, dots at the top. And then you can have a look at all of the posts that this designer has made. And so it's, it, it saves you time going through, you know, thousands of templates. And you can see that she's actually designed a few that look very similar. There's a few that look very similar. Okay, so that's just a uh, little tip to try and find posts. There's another there's another way, another person that does this really well. So again, just going through and um, click on this person. You might like to see this person and what they do. Click on that, click on the designer. And you see that you've got posts already that look very, very similar to each other. So if, you're, if that's your type of branding, this is already branded beautifully for you. Okay, so that's one little tip. I'm going to go a little bit quickly. All right, video from Canva. Now we have been through video a little bit, but what you can do is type up the top video and then you've got templates that have video in them already. If you didn't know, Facebook and Instagram are loving you creating video absolutely loving you creating video and so it's going to show video to more people so if you pop something in here you might not like this video go over to your videos have a look and see what's there like we were doing before move that over crop it so it's a specific time and then download that obviously change all the bits in here so you've already got a beautiful looking post. So easy to create these things. Just got something in the chat. Uh, Ebooks, yep, jumping in right now. Thank you for the reminder. I need to leave at 10 as well. I've got another appointment. Okay, jumping back into home. Then we would go to create design. We would go to ebook. It will give you an ebook cover. 
You can design the ebook. You can design the cover. And then you would add a page. And then you would add all of your, uh, usually a disclaimer goes in here for copyright. You would add a page. So you'd put your text in. This is probably going to be your, where you put your chapters. Next one, add a page. This is where you're going to be putting in your, you know, chapter one and you can change it. You can put in your pictures, no problems. And um, a lot of the time you could also, if, you've, if you need to have something down the bottom, you know, with your website down the bottom, you just create that page and then you duplicate the page. So you've got it here as well. And you're not having to type that in on every single page. Okay, so that's just a really easy way of creating the eBooks. If you did want to have um, a one-on-one -on -one about that, just let me know. Okay, video from you, conversation starters. When With conversation starters, these are really great to start to get people to engage on your page. So starting conversations, again, showing Facebook that everything is really interesting. Oh, we're in, that's what's happened. We're in ebook cover. So let's go back to Instagram post. This or that. This is a really great way of starting a um, starting conversation and and learning things from your learning things from your tribe or just having a really interesting fun post. You know, social media is meant to be fun. Why not? You know, this or this or that. Choose your flavor. Change it to your brand color brand colorings. If you're doing something about coffee, if you if you've got um, you know, this, this one works quite well on a, on, a, um, on a Friday night. Would you rather, you know, hang out in sneakers on a Friday night or pop your heels on? So these are there for you already. Makes it very, very simple for you. Okay, that's, this also works really well when putting poll. Just checking on time again. Yep, I'm going to have to go in a second. Um, that works really well when you put in polls, so you've got the same. Okay, clicking over. All right, so the other thing that um, I'm going to have to do a longer one on this. I can, I can see it happening already. The other thing that works really well on here are reels. So creating reels, and these can also be used for your TikToks really really easy way of creating reels and I've done a whole entire workshop on reels and I think we are just about finished the other thing that I really wanted to show you before we go quickly is creating a QR code so people can scan so you scroll down here click on QR code and then you put in your URL Now that code goes directly to this URL, to this website. Very, very easy way of creating your QR codes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Going to jump in. Okay, so uh, hopefully, Pam, you got a little bit of information about that ebook, but it might be a good idea if we sit down together. But that's how easy it is to create that ebook is to um, pop, pop the cover in. The other thing that you can do if you've already got an ebook or if you've got a PDF, it's in beta at the moment. So most people can get it, some people can't. Um, but you can put in your PDF into Canva now and you can. Um, and, and you can change anything that is in there. Okay, I'm just going to share my screen and jump back into here. Okay, we've got someone in the chat. Oh, no worries. Hopefully we'll catch you soon, Pam. <laughs> okay, so that was how to create your, uh, how to create 
your social media. So this was brought to you by Business Station. If you haven't already signed up, I really encourage you to make the most of this for your small business. So seven hours of that personalized business mentorship for only $44. We get to sit down with you. We get to sit down and have a chat about your business and where you want it to go. And we've got a whole team of experts that sit into this program and we we make sure that you're getting the best advice that you possibly can. So if you haven't signed into this program already, I know quite a few of you have. It's just businessstation.link forward slash register. You need to be in Northern Territory, WA or Queensland and have an ABN. So I really encourage you to jump in there. I'm sorry I'm rushing this. I just want to give you as much information as possible. Jumping into the chat. Love a session. Thanks, Maria. Really good. Uh, thanks. Really good. If we can do more in Canva. I'm so, I'm so glad. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely to see you all. And thank you very much for jumping in today. And hopefully I'll be able to help you as much as I possibly can in your business in the future. Thank you for coming. <laughs>